Hadn't had to check our weapons. No, oh, I know what you mean. Who knows what'll be waiting for us when we get off that plane? Our one day. damn flight's been delayed. Okay. Okay. Well, we have to go through security anyway, so mm -hmm. let's do that. Sarah, don't, don't worry about it, okay? We're gonna get out of here tonight. We Come have on. to. We're going to. Okay. You talk to Christian. You talk to him. It's, it's okay. Everything's going to be okay. Well, I don't know that for sure, Talia. I mean, there was so much static on the line when I talked to him, and then it just cut off. We have no idea what kind of danger Christian might be in. You were supposed to land 20 minutes ago. The pilot said we'll be on the ground soon. <sighs> yeah, I know. I know. I just can't wait to see my family. Must be nice to know exactly what's waiting for you when you get to Landview. The two of you are going to be okay. Lola and I are starting a new life. I'm glad she was able to sleep. She's been having nightmares almost every night. Well, she was there when her father murdered her mother. That'd be enough to cause nightmares for any kid. You know, you said you were going to tell me the whole story. Once you knew we were safe. We landing in Landview soon. We made it. I hope so. How'd you end up married to a murderer? Ray Montez could be very charming. You know, I was in love with him. Until I found out exactly how evil he could be. I'm at the airport. Dorian insisted on driving Langston and her friends. All right, good. I knew Dorian would be there. You told me she would meet your terms, and I wouldn't have to take this girl back to Colombia with me. You won't if you keep the pressure up on Dorian. There's no way she's going to let Langston get on that plane with you. There is very little time left. Montez, trust me. I know Dorian Lord. Oh, you know Dorian Lord. And yet you don't really know me. Hey. So does this mean you're able to pull yourself away from that very important case? Well, as nice as it is to see, I'm actually here to see the uh, the good Dr. Lord. Well, she's not here. So is there anything I can help you with? Maybe. Can you tell me why Dorian met with Jackie McNaughton? I can't believe this is happening. Maybe Langston's uncle changed his mind. Why would he bring her all the way to the airport to change his mind? I don't know, but I think he's ready to go. Wait here. I have a boarding passes. We should go to security, get to the gate. No. Not yet. Why not? What reason is there to wait? Tell me what all this is about. Well, as you know, Clint Buchanan was behind bringing Langston's uncle here to take her away from Dorian. And well, the kids were a little worried about how Dorian might react. Why didn't you mention any of this yesterday? I didn't want to get you involved. I didn't have to, but I promised someone I would check it out. I think everybody was pretty shocked when the judge gave, you know, custody of Langston over to her uncle Ray Montez. I mean, Dorian completely flipped out. Is that why they just threw her in jail? Yeah. And when she got out of jail? Well, I think she realized that there was nothing that she could do, even if Clint was behind it. You believe that? I don't know what she was thinking. You're cute when you're covering for someone. <laughs> John, look, when, when she was released from jail, she came home and she said she had a plan. Involving Jackie McNaughton. Yeah. My client isn't happy that the contract hasn't been executed. It will be. She doesn't want anybody close to her caught in the crossfire. No problem. Just get it done. I always do. 
The only flight Ray Montes is taking is with the Angels. Once you take Langston through security, her friends and I won't be able to keep her company. So given the circumstances, don't you think the least you could do is allow us these last few minutes together? Please, Uncle Ray. A few, a few more minutes. But the line can be long in security. I want us to get through and be waiting when it's time to fly. I want to go home. Thank you. So what? What do you say? I said I could stay here with you guys for a little bit longer. Oh, gosh, I hate this. I'll never have good friends like you guys again. You guys help me when I need it the most. As opposed to now, what happened to Kramer women always sticking together? We do. Like, right now? Do you call this sticking together? I can't believe you're not doing anything to stop this. Star, I promise you, I'm already doing everything I possibly can. I don't have much respect for Dorian, but I give her credit for one thing. Like me, she puts family first. And I don't. I'm doing this as much for Matthew as for anyone. I thought this was supposed to be a foolproof plan. And yet Dorian hasn't budged an inch. They're at the airport right now, aren't they? Yes. Dorian just needs a little nudge, and I'm going to do that myself right now. No objections? Not if it ends this thing. You always manage to surprise me. Oh, God. You know, I may disagree about a lot of things. But we sure do work things out. At least we try. Nora, you know what? I like working things out with you. This whole mess with Dorian. It'll be over soon, I promise. From your lips. Well, it looks like you and Clint have worked things out. I know that you have been going through a tough time lately. How do you know that? <laughs> Clint told me all about it. Over cocktails. Listen, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. You were forced to take Ray's identity in prison. You have a right to know about it. Sounds like you didn't know a whole lot about him at first. I was very young when I met him. I had no family, and here was this wonderful guy. With a shy, sweet daughter. Nala is one of the reasons I fell in love with him. We were married not long after we met. Even though Lola knew Ray had killed her mom? Lola rarely said a word about her mother. But she had nightmares. Ray slept through them. I was the one who would go to her and hold her, and she'd always cry out, No, Bobby, please, no. When she woke up, she always said she couldn't remember the dream. It took months for her to trust me enough to tell me the truth about what she heard that night. The night her mom was killed. Her parents were arguing. They had argued before, but this was much worse. She hid because she was so frightened. Then she heard her mother scream. And then there was silence. Did she say what they were fighting about? Ray thought that Lola's mother was cheating on him. And Ray Montes lets no one take what he thinks is his.